Welcome. Today I'm going to teach you how to use Google Docs Equation Editor for, to produce equations for chemistry and physics. You can also do this for your math class. Um, superscripts and subscripts that are in sentences, you just usually hit control, comma, or control, period, to get those. And that's within a sentence. But here we have a math problem where we're going to determine how many grams of lead hydroxide can be produced with 15 grams of lead nitrate, for example. So let's use this wondrous uh, equation editor. Go to insert, click equation. It's a pi squared. And you will notice that there is a box that's just right below here. Well, that box is where the equation is going to go into. And to move around within that box, you're going to need to use your arrow keys um, left and right mainly. They're next to your right side of your shift key. Um, the up and down key will literally take you out of that box. If I hit the up key, I'm out. I hit below. I can get, I just returned because my line was just below it. But if I want to move within the equation, I'm going to use my left and right. Okay. I tell my students to first always input what needs to be converted. So let's convert the 15 grams. So let's start typing this away. PB parenthesis N, and now we have uh, an element, oxygen, that has a subscript. So we're going to go to math operations, click it, and then you're going to go X to the A. Now we need to do this first always. You don't type in the, your oxygen first. First, you click X to the A, then capital O, then your right arrow, the right arrow, so I'm going to click my right arrow, and it puts me into the subscript mode. Oh, not a 2, but a 3, because it's NO3. Notice it was easily fixed. But if I use my arrow now, my right arrow, I now am out of the subscript mode. I do need to make another uh, subscript, because it's lead nitrate, so I'm going to go back, X to the A, parenthesis, arrow, and now I can put my two. And now I have lead hydroxide inputted. Now I want to put a times, and I'm going to be using dimensional analysis to uh, convert this, so I need a fraction. So I go right back to my math operations, A over B, click it. I'm going to type mole on top because I'm going to use the molar mass of lead. I'm going to highlight. I could retype this, but I'm going to highlight what I've already typed. And why am I going through it all over again? Copy. Um, I use my cursor, but you could have used your right arrow, and it would have put your cursor where you need it. And notice I typed that. And I didn't have to go stressing over it. Let's put the molar mass. I'm going to use, I use my right arrow key and left arrow key. Notice I'm moving back and forth. That's what allows you to go um, back and forth and put your cursor in the right place to, if you make any mistakes. So the molar mass of lead um, nitrate, 331 gram, um, grams, space, paste, boom. Done again. Now I'm going to take my right arrow. Um, I don't see the cursor. Depending on your um, Chromebook, it'll probably show up. We'll put times though, but there it is. I'm confident that it's in place. I go again. This is a three-step problem. I'm going to do my A over B uh, mole. And this time, I'm going to type out the lead hydroxide. It's, it's, um, it's due to uh, the balance equation. So parenthesis, OH. Now, this parenthesis will have a subscript. It's the PB um, OH parenthesis 2. So I'm going to go X to the A parenthesis, right arrow, put my two, and go below, and just using my right arrow, and type in mole, and since I already have the lead nitrate, copy and paste it. Now, fortunately, these are one-to-one, -one, so one lead, to lead nitrate to one lead hydroxide. Simply done. Now, again, I use my right arrow key, and I'm going to click my times, a over B, and now I uh, the, the mass of lead hydroxide is 241 grams, 
I could type it again, or I put my cursor close up to the lead, highlight. Okay. Now it looks like I got both lines below. No, you have the top. You'll be okay. It's just the way uh, I guess Google does this. I'm going to do copy. I'm going to use my arrow key and I use the mouse so that you can see that this is doable. Space, paste, and now I have my lead, uh, grams lead above. Now I'm going to type mold below because whatever's on top, I put below. Paste and equals. And I know that this is 11 grams. Oops, too close. Move it over. Grams and then copy. I already copy paste the lead hydroxide. I can click out or enter. And notice how nicely this is uh, typed up. It's a professional looking equation. It looks clean. It's something that is presentable to any teacher on a lab report also. Now, some of my students like to have a one um, in the denominator for the, uh, the value that's being converted. So that can easily be done. Check this out. I'm going to highlight. And then I go right back up to the math operations, A over B, click it. Use my arrow, put a one. And for those students who like their math um, presented in this format, it is easily done. Um, enjoy using Google Equation Editor. It's a powerful little tool. Thank you, Google. We teachers love you for that. And I'm sure you as students are going to love it too.